Okay. It's almost. Oh! <laughs> we got it. Ah! and welcome back to the junkyard. How's it going down there, honey? Oh, good. I, found the, I found the oil filter. <laughs> I was just looking for the uh, plug. So you may or may not have guessed, this is our first oil change we've ever done. And uh, both of us decided it would be good to do our first oil change on our RV. So, like all engines, they need maintenance. And Lady Jupes goes on long journeys. And she has a long journey coming up. So, uh, it's time to do this. It's time to, it's time to just person up and get this done. Person up. You like that? <laughs> this could be comically long because it's such a big engine. I don't Yeah. I don't actually know. You ready, Shorty? Yeah, is that where it is? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, okay. That's Hello. so we got trans fluid over there. And we got I'm assuming the unlabeled one's oil. But this is where it was on all the other Ford Super Duties, so. Huh. Whoa. Whoa. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah, it's slightly warm. It did it, 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 it slightly warm up. This will just be our first time doing it. Yes. Or, you know, the other option was to pay to have it done this time. Yeah. We're deciding. To Cheapest do it, I so. could find was two seventy five. dollars And that is so ridiculous. Yeah, my boobies barely fit. You should feel this. My boobies like right up against the crossbar. <laughs> hey, is this RV feeling you up? Yep. Oh, it really is, isn't it? Hi, honey. How's it going? Oh, it's. It's going great. I love it. Wow, the ground is super wet. Yeah. My pants are soaked. Okay. All right. All right. This will probably be the one that starts to leak, I would think. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try to do it by hand now. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. My own hand is blocking my own view, but it's cool. Here it comes. I can see oil, baby. I can see oil. It's getting on me, baby. <laughs> I'm getting oil in my hand. Here it comes. Oh! Oh, of course we didn't. <laughs> okay, so, well, we got dirty. Okay, are you good in that position for yeah, a minute? I'm good. Okay, I'm holding this end of the phone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see it going down my arm? Like it's all yeah, down here. You know I'm gonna grab a little towel. Okay. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> the wind is the worst! Ah, it's only got like three threads, how can it be this tight? Ah, fuck you! It's getting looser! You got it. It's getting easier, get ready for that bag. I'm getting ready. Not ready, but I'm getting ready. <laughs> okay. By ready, I mean almost ready. <laughs> okay. okay, now I'm gonna move the tool out of the way here in just a sec. Okay. And that's probably time to go bag. Okay. okay. And then... It's almost. Oh! <laughs> we got it. Ah! So, once we get that new oil filter on, we just have to put oil on and we're done. We have a new drain plug over yep. there, mm -hmm. which uh, lets us in the future just hook up a hose to our oil drain and flip a switch and the oil comes out. So, this is going to be a, this oil filter up here is just our dirty job from the, in the future now. Pretty easy stuff. It doesn't feel like it's going. Oh. oh! Does that help taking that thing off? I think that was the one for the old one. 
for a snoot oil. Is it fit okay? Yep. Good. This is really the ultimate moment of truth because we have the new oil filter in and we have the new oil plug. So it's gonna be time to see how it does. We got oil on the camera, look, we got oil. Oh God, did we put the, we put the cap on the oil in? Yes, all the caps are in. You should probably actually be out there in case something starts spewing like crazy and I have to turn off the engine. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'll go back out there in the cold. I know, it's windy like crazy. It's really windy today. So I'll be right out after I crank it, if I don't hear you screaming. Here we go. I don't hear screaming. Yeah? Yeah? Is that what's up right now? He's going. I don't see oil spilling out everywhere. Yeah. High five, baby. We did it. Woo! Purring, baby. It's purring. This is our version of home maintenance. Yeah. This is how we take care of our home. Yeah. We put six quarts in and the engine calls for seven. And we wanted to put six in first to make sure that we had gotten all the oil out and we didn't overfill it. So we put six in, ran it for a little bit, and uh, just like we expected, we're gonna put the seventh quart in and then we are officially done with our first oil change. And Lady Jupes' second oil change ever. Now with our most important domestic duty of the day finished, it's time to go take care of some other domestic tasks. The thing is, is when you live in an RV that doesn't have a washer and dryer, and you have work that uses laundry, it builds up pretty fast. Oh, 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 oh! Honey, you wanna tell me about the compromise no. you just made? No. Well, I gotta add some shopping today by agreeing not just shopping but driving yeah by agreeing to tidy up the wardrobe closet you know when you go on so here's i, I gotta preface before i show yeah this. yeah you do you really when you, when you he really does when you he's go, gotta justify this you see the thing is, is when you go on camera several times a week i don't worry about this as much anymore so that's why we're doing this but back i used to worry about wearing different shirts all the time and they can't be green because we have a green screen. So it led to a You're bit of a, of a wardrobe collection. This has also helped, to, you know, thanks to Ange, because Ange was always looking for clothes for you, but you never really sorted through what she gave you. So I'm just going to go through and start getting rid of some of this to make up some room. That's yeah. So that's, today's about TLC for the suits. We've also cleaned the kitchen, yeah. taken out garbage. Doing laundry. And doing laundry. So now we're going to also do a laundry purge. Yeah. And then after I get this done, I have a much cooler task that I'm going to perform. One eternity later. It's like I made a dent, but it's five bags worth of crap out of here. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Now we get to go get our new gadget. There's only one store in town that might possibly have the device I'm looking for. So here we go. Best Buy. Do you guys carry the NVIDIA Shield TV? So I'm hoping to pick up my favorite TV set-top streaming box, the NVIDIA Shield TV. Hoping they have it here. There it is. Maybe I should forget this whole Shield TV thing. That's a Lego Enterprise. No, this is this is one of my favorite tech gadgets. In total, I've I've owned three shields now. This is the latest generation, and uh, it's really a special device. If you want a set-top streaming box, this is a great one to get. I'm gonna go hook it up at the studio right now. Mission accomplished. Now it's time to go install this bad mamma jamma. All things being equal, this should be a pretty quick swap. I'm gonna unplug the Chromecast and plug in the Shield TV. Should be good to go. Famous last words? We'll see. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! Oh, I'm cowman right now. now that oh. Taken care of, nice butt. Get what I came Whoa, nice sleep. boobs. Jeez. Yeah, this is working great. This is using their GeForce Now streaming service. And they just recently added rumble support to the controller, so I actually Whoa, can get like vibration cool. and stuff when they... Yeah, cool. I, there's like no latency. I'm just playing Batman over the internet right now. <laughs> this is so awesome. Today is our sixth day in the junkyard and it's been a rainy mess. 
but despite this crappy weather for the last five days, we've gotten some awesome projects done in the RV. I think getting that oil change done was a huge accomplish for us personally. I've never really done anything mechanical like that, neither has Hadia, and it felt good to take ownership of our home and get something done for 80 bucks that was gonna cost us a minimum of 275 bucks. This was a really cool accomplishment for us, and it basically sets up Lady Jupes for another road trip. A surprise project while we were boondocked here was something I think that was inspired by the last place we camped at, and that was some simple but effective security cameras. I set those up and they work beautifully. So now Lady Jupes is monitored 24 seven, and I can watch it right on my phone. I'm proud of Lady Jupes. This is her eighth day of boondocking. No hookups. We haven't paid anybody a dollar to live for eight days. And that includes two adults and at times three kids. So she deserved a little TLC. She deserves us taking care of her, upgrading the security. She's earned it. Maybe to be great, every drone has to have a good death. I hope that's not the case. I've lost my phantom. It was about 2,000 2,100 feet out. Wait a minute. I think I hear it. I don't have connection on my remote here, but my God, I hear it. It's coming home. So the Phantom 4 Pro has a return to home mode when it loses signal. And I think it's working. There it is. Oh, good boy, Phantom. Wow. I still don't have any remote control and it's right above me. So something happened with my remote control. I hope I didn't lose my recording, it was a real epic shot. So hopefully we don't hit these power lines. Come on, baby! It's between power lines, I'd really rather have manual control right now. Oh my god. Don't hit those power lines! Oh man! Still don't have signal. Thank goodness for the fail-safe software. What you doing, dude? That wasn't even where you took off from. Boy, it did not, that's not where that thing took off from. That was worth the price of the Phantom 4 Pro right there. It totally successfully, automatically returned to home. It's working. And it's still recording. It's still frickin' recording. <laughs> oh my god! Oh wow! Huh. I wonder how the return footage looks.